Morning all, early start to the day for me and everything, but when I saw this, I was like, all right, early video it is. Uh, Damon Severson, in a sign and trade, has become a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, Severson then signs an eight-year contract with the Columbus Blue Jackets. The cap hit $6.25 million per season. He has a full no-trade clause for the first four years of that deal. Uh, going the other way, New Jersey gets the number 80 pick in this draft. That's a pick that Columbus had gotten from Calgary. So it's not a high draft pick, but I mean, for New Jersey, it's a matter of you, you get something for Severson or he goes to market and signs with Columbus anyways. And by Columbus making this deal, it means they can sign him to an eight-year contract. If they'd got him off the market, it would have been seven. So the interesting thing to me is I do think that Severson got more criticism than was probably warranted in New Jersey. But an eight-year contract takes him till he's, what, 36? So, I mean, there's there's risk to this contract, absolutely. Uh, but it's a good blue line that Columbus has formed now. Adding Provorov and adding Severson definitely should help that blue line a lot. Clearly, Jarmo Kekalainen is trying to uh, turn Columbus back into a playoff team as quickly as possible here. Uh, if these moves don't work out, that, that could end up spelling the end for Kakalainen. But of course, if Columbus doesn't bounce back next year, that might end up spelling the end for Kakalainen's time as general manager as well. So there are some considerations here to this deal and to Severson signing long term. But again, um, I don't mind the cap hit so much right now. We'll see how well it ages, of course. But at this point in time, it should be fine. Um, now, the Calgary Flames, their head coaching job, apparently Ryan Huska is the leading candidate. That's what Friedman's reporting. Uh, and he's been the assistant coach with Calgary for the last five years. He has AHL coaching experience as well. I have always said that, A, I do like it when it's somebody new that hasn't been a head coach before. And I also like it when a team promotes from within. Um, I, I just think that's best for the team, and it means that you're not going to have the same learning curve. Since Huska has been an assistant in Calgary for five years, he knows the players, he knows what needs to be done. And so, yeah, uh, we'll see how things go uh, for the Calgary Flames if they do, in fact, name Ryan Huska the new coach. Again, I, I like it when it's not a recycled name. Uh, Alex Dabrinkit. So yesterday this came out that he has submitted a list of teams he'd be willing to be traded to. Uh, and this, at this point in time, is not unheard of, but it does mean that he is likely to get moved. And again, it's been uh, said that he doesn't want to sign a long-term deal in, in Ottawa until he sees who the new owners are and what the plan is, but he may very well be getting kind of frustrated with the process. Uh, there is a qualifying offer out there that, I mean, for $9 million, Pierre Dorian could give him a qualifying offer. Well, we would see then if he would accept that. And again, you know, he could end up getting an offer sheet next month, which could really help Otto out quite a bit if that, in fact, if it, in fact, gets that far. Uh, also, Pierre Dorian saying that the Sens do plan to spend to the cap. So in the event that Debrinket gets moved, the money that would have been spent on Debrinket will just get moved to somebody else, whether that's whoever they get back in the Debrinket deal or whether it is... Uh, a player they pick up in free agency or whatever it is, or maybe players, right? Uh, we'll see what Ottawa does. Ottawa, there's some pressure on them to make the playoffs next season. Uh, so this came out as well yesterday. The Toronto Maple Leafs are picking up Shane Doan from the Arizona Coyotes organization, not in a playing capacity, but to join their front office. And and this is one of those things that I, I think is kind of, well, it's, it's surprising to me because Shane Doan, kind of belongs in Arizona, um, and and doesn't he do those plumbing commercials too? Who's going to do the plumbing commercials now that Doner's gone out of Arizona? At any rate, um, yeah, Shane Doan headed to Toronto. Good guy, uh, a player who stayed in Arizona despite there not being any playoff success. I think my favorite take on this that I saw yesterday on social media was uh, that, that the speculation should be that the Leafs are going to bring him in so that he can say loudly in front of Austin Matthews whenever it applies, well, they don't have this in Arizona. Wow, this looks great. This facility's fantastic. They don't have anything like this in Arizona. So I I did. I thought that was kind of clever. Thought I'd throw that into this video. But yeah, uh, don't join the Leafs front office or head office. I well front office. I I don't think I don't think that's a big deal. I I really I think that's going to help Toronto. Uh, I I don't think it's going to change the culture necessarily, but it, it can only help. 
Elliot Friedman also passing this along yesterday in his conversation with Jeff Merrick. And so, uh, yeah, I'll throw this in here too because this is NHL related adjacent. So there's a, a court case right now, CRA, which is the Canadian version of the IRS, uh, has two former Blue Jays currently in court. Uh, and, and it's because of the amount of money that they were putting into retirement savings. So I've talked about how, you know, professional athletes have ways of bringing down that tax burden, right? No matter where you're at, you can bring down the tax burden. You can even it out a little bit. It gets played up a lot in the media. It gets played up a lot by fans. But it's it's one of those things where if you have a really good accountant, you can get your tax rate down quite a bit. And one of the ways to do that is retirement. You put your money into retirement savings. It is the best way to get your amount owing to uh, the Canadian Revenue Agency down. Um, and I, I say that from experience that that is that is absolutely it works because dollar for dollar it just takes it right off your income, and it makes sense because then you have that money in retirement, and then there's there's less reason to need a, a pension when you're 65, all that fun stuff. But if CRA wins this case and then gets that extra money from the two former Blue Jay players, uh, I believe it's Russell Wilson and Jose Bautista. Uh, if that happens, that will have a negative impact on Canadian NHL teams because Canadian NHLers do the same thing where they put as much money as they can into retirement savings to bring that tax burden down along with all of their other write-offs. Like I've, I've said, there are a lot of write-offs you would have as a professional athlete. And I, I, I guess CRA's decided to go after that. Uh, you can never tell. And so we'll see what happens with that. But that could have a, a negative impact on Canadian teams uh, going forward. Uh, because that's always a conversation point is is the taxes, which are higher in Canada. But again, there's a lot of a lot of write offs as well, and a lot of ways to bring that down. Uh, CRA might be trying to at least limit one. And it's weird because I don't know how players would give more to retirement than they're supposed to, because it's all like it's all tied. Like if I sign into CRA right now, it tells me how much money I'm allowed to write off this year for an RRSP or how much I'm allowed to have in a tax free savings account. So I'm, I'm not sure how it went over and all that, but I, I don't know all of the particulars of the court case, but I, I do know that it will have a negative impact. And not just National Hockey League related, it would definitely affect players on the Raptors, probably current members of the Blue Jays. It just kind of makes it a mess, but we'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.